without saying that the drama series Squid Game has swept the world. Thanks to its captivating story, gorgeous design, and unforgettable characters. It is an understatement to say that Netflix's programs have topped the charts in each of the 83 countries where it is available. A lot of work went into crafting the iconic outfits, writing the memorable lines, and building the elaborate sets on the show. And the fans are demanding for a behind-the-scenes look in how the series was created, which is understandable given the tremendous praise and devotion. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the behind the set of Squid Game. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Red Light, Green Light The first game Red Light, Green Light was primarily played in alleyways in the 1970s and 1980s by kids. Wong and series art director Che Kyung Sun said, We refer to the illustrations of Chul Su and Yong Hee from textbooks back then when making the robot. The robot was actually built. Wang said that the game's simplicity and ease of play would provide the most captivating twists when the players first learned the game's true sex. Because of the game's seeming simplicity, Huang chose it as the character's first game. But wait, before we proceed to the next behind the set of Squid Game, like so you can witness how the actors and actresses managed to pull off the difficult scenes in Squid Game. Number 2. Honeycomb Game The crew maintained accuracy with the props for the second game, Honeycomb. Example, the honeycombs were also real. The honeycomb master was the guy on site who made the sweets, and the entire set smelled like honeycomb during filming. Actor Lee Jong Jae is far from a bankrupt criminal. He's a former model and superstar actor who's dating a billionaire's daughter. Even director Huang Dong Hyuk was in awe of the celebrity and worried about asking Jung Jae to endlessly lick a honeycomb doll Ghana while filming a hot, sticky day. It was excellent for portraying how desperate Gihan was, so I did my best, Jung Jae said. Number 3. The Tug of War The Tug of War tournament was not held on a platform that was high enough off the ground to kill anyone who fell off of it, for obvious reasons. However, the actors had to legitimately pull on the rope to keep things as realistic as possible. When the actors' feet slide over the platform, they're not acting. They're being tugged by the rope and attempting to maintain their balance. Movie magic can do a lot of things, but we still haven't figured out how to fake tug of war. As the actors sweat, scream, and act their freaking hearts out, the camera stays on them. You can't help but be intrigued by all of their performances, even when they're surrounded by blue screens and cameras in their faces. We also got a peek of Gihun's near fall off the platform, which was safely fitted with a wire to prevent actor Lee Jung Jae from actually falling off and giving the space to make the near fall look as dramatic as possible. Number 4. The Glass Stepping Stone It was actually terrifying filming glass stepping stones, said Jung Ho Yun, who plays North Korean defector Kang Se Byok. The set was approximately 1 meter, 3 feet off the ground. Squid Game inventor Huang Dong Hyuk said, We put genuine tempered glass there and ran around over it. It felt really like jumping off a high bridge. They were terrified because the game was real. Fear was visible in their bodies. Number 5. Gihun Bumping into Sebyok Gihun first encounters Sebyok as a casual passerby as he tries to avoid his enraged daft collectors. She drops her iced coffee as she falls which Gihan scrambles to pick up and return to her in a hilarious manner. This is an unscripted scenario, according to the director, with several detailed expressions all ad-libbed into one shot. Lee Jong Jae, who plays Gihan, claims he had no idea he was improvising until it became a natural part of the appealing character they had created in Squid Game. He points out that at that scene, Sebyok, Jung Ho Yun, is hiding her face and laughing if viewers look closely, they can see her shoulders shaking with laughter. Number 6. The Squid Game's Player Dormitory The dorm is purposely dismal, unlike the Squid Game setups, which are frequently candy-colored pastel stairwells and nostalgic schoolyards. 
Wang, the show's creator, preferred to display the contestants as objects stacked on warehouse shelves rather than as humans. We thought of representing that in the band design because modern society is a perpetual competition to ascend the ladder. Art director Che Kyung Sun told Netflix Korea. Number 7. The Squid Game Player's Outfit the famous costumes from Squid Game were difficult for the cast to film in, with Huang revealing that the actors truly suffered during the scenes in the dorms. The material of the teal tracksuits reminded him of the vintage gym clothing, causing the scene to get very dusty. Some actors had difficulty breathing because of the outfits, while others' faces even turned red because of allergies. It seems like they pushed through with the dusty costumes anyway, despite how bothersome the material was for a few actors. Number 8. The Squid Game Guards Outfit The distinctive hot pink jumpsuits worn by the guards were originally intended to be Boy Scout uniforms. The initial Boy Scout-like attire showed the men's figures too clearly, defeating the objective of making them look like ants in an ant colony, according to Huang and Che. Huang decided that the jumpsuits were the greatest approach to cover their full body and achieve the look he desired, as it was the best alternative to keep them nameless, as well as the ability to use the hood to disguise their head. Second to the last, number 9. The Police Officer Wei Hajin portrays Huang Jinho, a rogue police officer who stumbles in Squid Game. His search for his missing brother swiftly takes a turn for the worse when he comes face to face with an incredibly horrific game that utilizes human lives for entertainment. We spoke with Deadline through a translator about the underlying beauty of the brutal series and why he feels it resonated with an international audience despite his limited lines. He also discusses the challenges of playing behind a mask. After we said, the fact that I had to wear the mask for the entirety of the series was difficult, especially when it came to acting beneath the mask. Even if I try hard and perform with my facial expression in my gaze, it didn't come through outside of the mask. When I'm acting aggressively, it doesn't show properly to the screen. To compensate for the loss of my facial expression and gaze, I had to make a lot of exaggerated and dramatic movements. The most challenging scene to shoot was the one where I made an underwater escape wearing scuba gear. I haven't mentioned this in interviews, but I have a serious fear of water. It took a lot of time to overcome that fear. It took quite a few swimming lessons to shoot that scene, but I was able to complete it well, so I'm very happy about the outcome. And lastly, number 10, the final game. The director wanted the action to return to the initial setting for the final game. The title is Quid Game. We focus on the fairy tale like, slightly weird vibes of that place, Che explained. The goal was to bring the game full circle, with just two players remaining, the journey coming to an end, and the winner's life undoubtedly changing. That's the Squid Game story we wanted to tell, Huang explained. It appears that the participants' only options are despair, fear, rage, and grief. But unlike the outside world in which they were living, they do not lose their humanity and hope for it. As a result, this is similar to Pandora's box. They may not lose hope, but hope itself becomes a curse, as in the story. The crews and cast have suffered a lot of difficulties in performing challenging scenes in Squid Game. That is why a lot of people are still attached with the series. And that's it for today's video. Which do you think in the behind the set has the most difficult scene to perform? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.